going on boys, it's your boy Fallon. Um, I've been requested to make this video so many times now. It's a new tutorial, so just prepare, prepare before the video starts. I'm not claiming to be a, the best player or whatever. I know I'm not. Um, it's just people have been asking me for the movement. Um, the movement that I do, so I'm going to give it to them. So yeah, I'm not claiming to be a great player, blah, blah, blah. Before I start getting slammed in the comments, I know that. But yeah, <coughs> let me show you boys how, how to move like... Like the updated movement of Fallon. No, what a lot of people are requesting, especially, is is the starter and shit. Like there's there's obviously for all the new gen players and stuff. A lot of new gen players do it. A lot of OG players don't like it, but it's just the way the game is kind of like advanced. So a lot of people are talking about the starter speed boost. The starter speed boost is kind of like you know where you where you where you go mid and you're like you know you're doing that kind of. You see, I've just gotten as well, so it's not my movement's pretty chopped right now, but. The only reason I'm on is to record this video because I don't want to play this game in the moment because it's very fucking boring. But, um, yeah. I'm going to teaching you boys mainly how to start. I'm not going to be teaching you how to play ramps and all this, how to beat crack and all that shit because you can go find that somewhere else. I'm not going to be, I'm just strictly here to teach you the movement. Right, so what I, what I do is, um, I like to swing crack and then kind of just like kind of bait the person on uh, left to kind of swing. So when I'm swinging, the person left's gonna be like here, and I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be over here speed boosting in and out. So what 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 the person on left thinks I'm doing is I'm trying to kill his teammate. Like he doesn't know that his, he doesn't know what his teammate's doing. He's got his eyes on me. So yeah, he'll think his teammate's cracked. So we'll swing, and then and then obviously I know I'm that's what I'm doing. I'm only going cracked so I can bait the person on right, and then I go in and obviously and wait for him to swing. So that's kind of like that's what I do on right, especially. Right, so in terms of movement, obviously I've got the keyboard on the screen on the right. Um, you're just going to have to watch what I'm clicking and stuff to kind of get this down. If you need to replay the video, watch it in slow motion, that's all good. Um, that's what I did when, especially when I was trying to learn movement and stuff, I was, you know, slowing videos down and watching them how they do it without the keyboard. So it was a lot harder. So I just kind of just like saw what they were doing with their movement and then kind of like put it in my own sort of like, yeah, like I hope you know what I understand. Like I said, I'm very bad at explaining shit, but yeah. Right, the starter speed boost, it kind of like starts with this, so the reason why you want to start is because I see a lot of like these new players or whatever, they like to swing their screen around, and when you're swinging your screen like this, I can't even do it anymore, when you're swinging your screen like this, you're moving your crosshair left and right, you want your crosshair still in one spot, because the more time you're doing this, swinging your screen left and right, left and right, you've got to find that, like, you've got to then track their head, and it's, it's very hard, you basically got to hit a flick every single time, that's what not a lot of people realise, they're kind of more interested in speed boosting instead of their aim and it's always aim over aim over movement and that's the way the game works like movement it doesn't matter how good your movement is don't get me wrong it gives you some advantage like, especially when you're against a good player with good aim because it's hard it's a lot harder for them to track you if you've got good movement and you're glitching you know and you're snapping and shit on other people's screens but at the same time it's always movement over aim if you've got both of them you're going to be a good player that's why you need to learn how to start and, and have a good aim and good crosshair placement so, what i'll do is i'll swing mid and then like that's when you start you know stuttering See, like I said, my, I've just, I've just, I've just got on, so my, my, um, my moves a bit shit, but yeah. Yeah, so, you'll notice as well, a lot, I like to, like, kind of put my crosshair there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Because a lot of people that play left, they like to pull V-roll. So... They'll POV roll like this, they'll keep doing this because they have a full POV of you without being exposed. Right, so they'll do this, but a lot of a lot of the time they come desync, so they get desync. So the whole time they're doing this on your screen, on your right, they'll be out here visually, but on their screen they're behind the ramp, so you'll be desync. Or sometimes when they do POV roll, they'll sometimes when they do POV roll, they'll sit here, like they'll do this behind the ramp, and literally it gives you like Lift, like I'll show you a clip of like a couple of um like I'll show you I'll put up two clips on the screen right now to show you kind of like how you're pre-firing uh, your V-Rolls nah, you know I'm watching the video back and I didn't really pre-fire peel V-Roll but you can I hope you kind of get the idea you know you're, you're, you're aiming when you're aiming here and like you get like an inch of bed that pops out and yeah it's just good to kind of do that so i hope you get the idea yeah so yeah you always want to base your cross on where where your opponent's going to be it's either they're going to be rolling so on the pov roll like right here or they're 
you know, and you just want to keep that you, you just want to keep that like crosshair even swing you crack the string ball yeah you can always you, you always got to keep your crosshair where like your opponents are going to be because there's no point doing this because i used to do this and i used to get tapped all the time because i'm literally like swinging my crosshair around and I have to, you know, I have to snap, like, I have to snap every single time and try and flip onto the heads. So as I was saying, you've got to always keep your crosshair where they're going to be. Like, they're either going to be head level, like here, or they're going to be, you know, POV. So I mix in between the two, so I'll, I'll, I'll come mid. And then I'll kind of, you know. Oh, yeah, and also, um, ever since I dropped my cards the other day, um, or yesterday or whatever, I don't know when this video is going out, but I just dropped my most recent cards, so I just called shit, change the game. Um, a lot of people have been talking about this one thing that I do on uh, like when I when I go to the left it's this I accidentally did it one day. I accidentally did it one day and I've been rocking with it ever since I mean, I've never actually seen anybody do it. I don't know if it gives you any sort of I don't even know what it looks like on the other person's screen I'm gonna get somebody to come and look and see what it is and then I'll obviously I'll post that POV once I've shown you But it's this I mean it looks really cool and it makes you kind of feel like you're like it makes you feel like you're hella fast like it's that It looks cool, but I don't know what it does on anybody else's screen. So um, I get a POV, but it's kind of like you just I, I do it like only when it's necessary. I don't want to like force it. So like right here will be I kind of mix it in between. So I'll, I'll sit here. Oh, I'll mix it in between. So I'll kind of like boom, boom, swing. Yeah. So a lot of people talk about this one start specifically. It's like where you throw your gun up. So it's like you come here, throw your gun up, go right, throw your gun up. If you just look at the keyboard and see how I'm doing it, you'll get it. But yeah, it's kind of like, as you, you left click, you left click and you click W at the same time and it cancels it out. So, W and then right, W and then, like, I, I can't see it. Really. Like, you know, just look at the keyboard, like, W, W and then D. So, left click, W, D. Left click, W, D. Yeah, so, that's how as I was saying, all you gotta do is literally just watch the video in like 0 0.5 and then kind of match my keyboard to my movement and then kind of practice yourself. Um, it depends on how quick of a learner you are. I mean, it, when I started learning this, it literally took me like a day or two. And I went from doing this, 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 I used to do this shit all the time, bro. I went from doing that to what I'm doing now, basically. Obviously, your movement will improve as time comes. You'll see a video, you'll learn some new shit. But, um, yeah, like. That's, that's really like that's really like what you have to say really now for this is for the people that play on left um i see a lot of people that play left and have zero movement you need to have movement when you're pushing on left so say for instance you swing kill one you can't just run forward because their left's going to swing from right and just tap you yeah so on left you always want to be moving so like you swing kill one and then you just want to start moving because guaranteed 100 percent the person on right the person on their left, as soon as their teammate dies, they're going to be like straight over it, coming to swing you. They're going to swing you. So, um, yeah, you always want to be moving. If you're running a straight line, you're giving them a free kill. So, you want to swing, start moving. And just wait, wait for him to peek. You, will, you can still, obviously, yeah, wait for him to peek. So, I'm going to give you a tip as well on left and basically win m most of your 1v2s. So you just want to swing yours, kill yours, and then you rush mid, go in ramp. Starter, that's when your teammate on right should be coming. He should be he should be pushing right now. So as soon as your teammate right, you go mid. You say, oh, I've killed mine. That's when your teammate should be swinging or mid. He should be like kind of boom 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 boom. And that's when once he gets to the kind of like the same spot where you are, where you are mid, you're kind of you're kind of just waiting. That's when he rushes that side. You rush this side. And you sandwich him. So yeah. That's basically how, many, how I win my 1v2s. Like, you never want to lose a 1v2. It's the worst thing ever. So what, that's what I do. So I'll, I'll, I'll get to mid, start speed boosting, because I guarantee as soon as you kill, as soon as you kill uh, right, the person on the left is going to come over and he's going to, you know, he's going to try and kill you or whatever. So that's when I'll be, I'll, I'll come to mid, and then I'll, I'll kind of stand here, speed boost, uh, starter. If he swings, he swings. You can either kill him or not. Um, if he swings, it's a good. It's, it's kind of good that he swings as well because your teammate should be right about here. So if he, he so happens to kill you, your teammate can just swing and kill him. So um, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Like I said, you get mid. You're mid. You just killed yours. Your teammate starts pushing. Your teammates like said like make like just go have clear comms. Your teammate says right. I'm like pushing. I'm half full. Half full. That's when you should be. You know. Boom. You just have to literally. You just have to wrap him. So. Boom. 
yeah. But yeah, that's the video, guys. Obviously, if you need any help with anything or I missed anything out that you wanted to know, just let me know on Discord. Uh, Discord is going clear. It'll be in the description anyway. But yeah, I appreciate you boys for watching the video and. Uh,